video my name is ActiQ and I wanted to make this video yesterday but since Jagex came with the revolution I wanted to make that video first of course. So finally we get to talk about the bonus XP weekend and during the bonus XP weekend I did definitely play more than I should have played and I used the whole weekend pretty much to do the bonus XP except for on Sunday I just stopped playing in the evening and I never logged in on Monday during the daytime of course because I had university. So with Jagex extending the bonus XP weekend with two hours since we had the revolution update and people lost some time due to the update in theory somebody could have played like 73 or 73 and a half hours during the bonus XP weekend and gained a lot of XP of course but I didn't play that much I played like half of that so I calculated somewhere around that I played around 37 hours during the bonus XP weekend which is still extremely lot so I played like 15 hours on Sunday and 15 hours on Saturday and I must tell that it's not the best time to spend so much time on RuneScape but I got to meet some really nice people because after I was finished with summoning I did some dungeoneering and I met some nice people like I was very glad to find that in RuneScape there are people that are like high level like me but they are still also calm and casual and they don't really care that much about being the best in engineering or something like that and even with those people we did floors in 13 minutes in 12 minutes and our best floor was like nine and a half minutes so it's not like the team was inefficient we were pretty good at dungeoneering but it was just nice and casual and everybody just did their job and nobody raged at all and if somebody did a fail then it was okay or at least we just moved on and thought that okay let's do better in the next dungeon but before i found the team that i was playing pretty much during the whole weekend I had extremely hard time to find a proper team because at start I was with some extremely try hard people the kind of people that want to get less than 10 minute floors every single time and if they don't get that then they are very disappointed and if somebody makes mistakes they start stalking that guy and then just exploiting and abusing him verbally because he made one mistake so I was with a very try hard team in the beginning and since I'm not really familiar with team dungeoneering and they were using a lot of slang words like BGT or MGT or stuff like that and I didn't understand all the commands right away because I haven't done any team dungeoneering so at the start I was kind of slow to react all the commands and then I did one mistake in the levers room and after this mistake they just called me names and abused me verbally completely and after the dungeon they kicked me from the party and my friend who continued with these people said that they had called me a down syndrome kid after i left or was kicked from the party and i was just amazed how inconsiderate people can be because that's not nice towards me and that's not nice towards somebody who knows somebody who has a disability and the whole weekend was about helping people with disability to play video games so I didn't completely understand that and I was extremely disappointed at Dungeoneering because this was my first Dungeoneering team and I was thinking like okay I'm not gonna continue Dungeoneering I'm just gonna log off and not play at all but then I found my current team and the team was pretty good and it was very casual and nobody was raging at all and we were doing pretty much the same time and sometimes even better times than the dry hard team was that was abusing everybody that was making a smallest mistake so after I found the nice people and the people that actually are just nice towards each other and just want to get XP together then it was okay and the weekend went by pretty fast but it was also pretty tiring to play so much runescape but I'm happy that I played so much because that brings me so much closer to my goals and so much closer to completionist Kate. But let's move on to the actual part that's very interesting so my actual XP gains that I gained during the weekend so I took a screenshot of my stats before and my stats after and I calculated the bigger XP gains uh, manually and then I also calculated my total XP gained for the weekend. So in this picture you can see all my XP gains for the weekend and I highlighted some parts to the right side so you can just check those quickly if you don't want to check the small screenshot. 
So I gained 1.2 mil magic, 2.2 mil range and 1.3 mil in constitution. And the bigger XP gains that I got is I got 12.4 million in summoning. I also used all my blue charms, but I made some cheaper pouch with them because I didn't want to lose so much money on the blue charms. And then I gained massive 25 million dungeoneering XP and some miscellaneous XP. And that's a total of 43.9 million XP during the bonus XP weekend during the 37 and a half hours or 37 hours that I played. So on average, I was gaining more than 1 million XP per hour when I was playing during the bonus XP weekend. So that was definitely a lot of XP gains for me. Of course, there were a lot of people that gained like 100 million summoning during the weekend, but I didn't have that many charms and I wasn't going for 200 million summoning yet. So I wasn't even trying to compete well, with those people that are really prepared and they have 200 million summoning banked. So I was pretty happy with my 43.9 million XP and it's more than I have seen most of people gain. So it's, it's good, it's decent. And yeah, it's, it's definitely bringing me closer also to 1 billion XP. But yeah, I'm interested to hear what kind of gains did you make during the one of the XP weekend? Did you make even more than I did? Or did you play a bit more casually? Because I know life kind of hardcore. You can leave those things in the comment section. And if you like this video, please leave it a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching and see you guys next time.